My name's Oliver Jeffers. My name's Oliver. I draw pictures and I tell stories. I just think picture books are a fascinating platform for telling stories, for putting words and pictures together. People are often very curious, because I write and illustrate the books, which comes first, the words or the pictures. And the truth is that they actually happen both at the same time. They grow up together. I get my ideas from, from everywhere. You just never know when you're going to get an idea, so I, that's why I always carry a pencil and a piece of paper. Why do I make picture books? Because I just I feel compelled to, I have to. I have all these stories in my head and I just love telling stories. I'm from Northern Ireland where storytelling is a very important part of the cultural heritage there. And so I'll tell stories to anyone who's listening and sometimes to people who aren't. Once upon a time. What do I do every day? My day changes all the time, but uh, most often I'll wake up. It's usually the first thing. Then I will transport my body. Sometimes walk, sometimes skateboard, sometimes cycle, Vespa, motorcycle. From where I sleep to where my pens are. And then I will begin drawing, writing lists, crossing things off lists. And then I stop for lunch. And then I will go back to doing some drawing and writing and crossing things off lists. Putting things in drawers. I like labeling things. People often ask me how I get started. The, everything starts in the sketchbook. Uh, the first part is making all the drawings I can think of to try and figure out the story. Specifically talking about the Hueys. I remember I was in a restaurant when I had this idea. This is the, the piece of paper in which I first conceived the overall structure for the very first Hueys book. So once I know the overall arch of a story, it's beginning, it's middle and it's end, I then will start thumbnailing color tests for the skin color, for the, uh, like the type of pencil, covers. Then I'll do more detailed line art and they will get dropped into a layout and then I'll use those layouts to make the final art within any number of different mediums. Watercolour paint, collage, acrylic, pencils, coloured pencils, paint, paint, oil paint, digital. digital. The way I'll make it will be whatever is the best way to make the idea as strong as possible. Uh, I'm really lucky. I get to do what I love for, for a living. I feel a sort of a sense of responsibility to enjoy that as much as I can.